Now it's time for Heart Bay. And much later, we'll take a look at some tweets that have come up. But now let's talk about social media and how it is encouraging or discouraging rape culture in our society. And we've been talking about the rape culture in our society uh, all through this month because we want to understand what it is that we're doing that's contributing to the incessant number of rape cases in the country. And so it keeps happening all the time and it keeps increasing as well. In the studios, I have Councillor George Lutrot and I also have Belinda joining me as well. Okay, let's see Bella. <laughs> Bella yes. actually joining me. How are you both doing? I'm good, what yeah? about you? I'm fine, thank you, you very much. Good. Been a while we had you on the show. Welcome yes, back. Thank you. Councillor, how about you? Everything okay? Very, very, very okay. Especially <laughs> when His Excellency the President Nanadu Dankwakufuadu and Mama Rebecca just started the Christmas. So have you seen what they have done? Mm. After sacking the people from the Nima Janshin, yeah. Nanadu has started Christmas. And that has shame Baumia. How is that shame Baumia? In the depreciation of the city. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Nanadu Brunya. <laughs> Are you saying it's a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. Then I'm not do I started the Christmas for us. Have you been to the place? Well, I've seen it and I love it. I love Go there what they've at night. done. I think they've they've turned around that and entire stretch. I, I, look, um, I see power suite. Because when I saw the billboards there, I said, Nanadu, you have to let them remove the billboards so that we can see the edifice. So they were working on they developing. The billboard. Yeah, they were working on developing power the suite. land. The place is nice. But I, I like it. I like it's it too. It's good to the people. That's also <laughs> one nice. of the conversations we'll be having because the <sighs> Ridge Runabout also was lit two nights Charlie, ago. Not two. Hey. And there's a video that's going around. People oh. are loving it. And there's a there's Tweet There's a boat. From Charlie, our very Charlie. own Michael or TAJ concerning the light. And so if we have time, we'll touch no, on I that. No, I thought Christmas was on hold until I saw until what Nanadu had done this house. And on 26 in the morning, we're going to do a photo shoot there from the orgasm conference. I see. With, okay. with Tohon. Mama Rebecca is doing Tohon. 15 So you're having the shoot in her house or. In front of the garden. But the wife is doing. You. Are people allowed to go stand in there? It is not going to permit me. This is a public space for us. That's why he did There's it. There's a barricade. So you are not barricade. allowed to cross <laughs> it. <laughs> Don't tell the security people because we. You can't jump it. You'll we be are not arrested. jumping. We are going to take photograph in the garden. What's the okay? No the problem. That's between you and Mama Let's Rebecca. Your MPP when she's city. ready um, for that, she will permit you. But anyway, to one, to one. let's talk about social media and the effects it's have, having on rape in our society. <laughs> Stigmatization is uh, one very serious issue that a lot of people face on social media. You dare not go write anything that is against someone's views because then they will dress you down completely. And when it comes to rape, that's another issue that should not even go on social media because you realize that a lot of people maybe don't understand what rape really does, the impact it has on people. And so they'll go on there and make fun of it. Do you think, however, that social media is contributing to the rape culture in the country. Okay, in my little opinion, I think social media is contributing a lot to um, positively rape. or yes, negatively? Posi positively and negative, uh, okay. negatively, but I'll go for the positive side because okay. at times when you are emotional, um, it's good to hear from people. It's good to um, listen to what people say. And when you bring those things out, it helps others who also don't know much about it or who have been through that ordeal. So it's it's okay. It's okay for yes. you. Counselor, what about you? Well, what is social media doing to us as a country? You see, social media is, is not helping us more positively than the negative is higher. Why? And the reason is because when social media entered into this part of our world, especially in Ghana, mm. we've not had any training on the usage. Were we supposed to be trained? On yes! By I who? Mean, I mean, God, so those who brought it could have organized training programs for people to understand the usage. Right now, everybody gets access to an Android phone. He or she is on social media mm -hmm. and doesn't know what to write, what not to write. Do you mm -hmm. understand? So it's like social media has become, it's more or less becoming a mass electronic uh, media in a way. Because mm -hmm. right now, all of you, uh, formerly you ignored it. But right now, when we are live on TV, you are still We're tweeting, like, yeah. you are still Instagramming. Yeah. And the only thing that is left for you to do is to Snapchatting whilst we're doing live TV. Okay. So what is happening is that We've not really understood the way to use it. So when you drop it down to rape, what happened here is that the victim coming to pour out what she has experienced will rather victimize her and make her become a ridicule of society. Mm. So what I think should rather be done with social media is that when the person who raped her is finally, finally brought to book, mm -hmm. then social media 
should make it louder for us to hear. But when it is alleged that Councillor Lutwart raped Bella and it becomes a headline news, mm -hmm. when the law court proved that it was not a rape but it was a brush, how do we go back to remove it? And even if they say it was a brush, that would also generate another controversy. No, but the story will begin from I rape you. And then they say, no, finally the court says it's a brush. At times, even the brush, you don't get it back again. Yeah. yeah. So the story leaves there to be Councillor Lutwart rape uh, uh, Bella Mundi which it's not, uh, you are my daughter, I can't do that. You understand? So, the social media thing is about the content that we put there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So whether rape is helping rape or bringing rape to a better place or not, I think that we are not doing anything. Because watch here, mm -hmm. even the company, the uh, Dobso, the legal Shrad, people, people yeah, Shraj, right they rather bring mm -hmm. laws to tell us that you cannot talk about these things on social media. They tell you when a case is in court, you can't talk about this. But let's go and see our predecessors, those we learned from. Mm. When, when uh, R. Kelly is in court for a rape case, every morning there's a tweet about it. You understand? Mm. The, the story is being discussed. But our loss, yes, is that when there's a case in court, you can't talk about it. Well, because and, it's a sensitive issue. And so but you R. Kelly, it. those we are learning from, every case they have are by rape, even when it's alleged, they stick people right it's to right. It's because they also, um, you know, like to speak to the media a lot. And so that generates some conversation. So what is our problem here? Why well, we don't want to speak? So the people right now rather feel you the one who have been raped. You rather feel as the victim. Because one, you are kept not to talk. Mm. And the worst is that they take you to church. It's the most worst thing that can be done to a rapist. Yeah. That you have been raped. And you're not supposed to go see a pastor. Not a counselor. A pastor. To help you confess your sins. And then rejuvenate and become a normal being again. It's wrong. Okay. Because that place, they don't help you. So social media, let, we are let, not using it well. Let's go back a bit and talk about what we post on social media that sort of encourages the idea of rape. Because now when you go on there, social media is supposed to be what? A form of interaction with people. But that's where people post their nudes now. That's where people post all kinds of things. They would mm -hmm. say that don't, you know, encourage rape by saying, okay, well, the woman wasn't dressed well. What was she doing at this point and at this time? But now you go on social media and everything is almost sexual. And so then you're planting in the ideas of people that it's mm -hmm. easy to sexually maybe approach you and so then that makes it even more understandable for these pedophiles and predators to think that then that's what you're about. So if I meet you, then it has to be sexual, whether you like it or not. Are we also not to blame for the kind of things that we post on social media? Okay, you know, some of these people, they will say, um, this is me and this is what I want. So I'm putting this out there. It's my life. But to me... When you are on social media, it depends on how the, the, your crowd and who you want to reach, whether positively or negatively. I will always like to reach people like in a good way, dress in a good way, and post things out there that will encourage people or motivate them. Mm -hmm. But some people are just on social media for fame or just to do something so that their name will be out there. And they believe that, okay, posting my nude or all those things will make people reach me fast, uh, faster. Because, yeah. um, Bella, when you post like good things on social media, Nobody is watching. Mm. Nobody is watching. So they, be, they think that, okay, let me just post my nudity or do a bikini shoot or something. It will make people, like, come follow me, like my pictures and all those but things. But then you open yourself up to predators. Yes. And to them, they are cool. So I believe it's, it's, it's the individual and what you want. If you think it's okay for you, that's fine. But you as a person, you should know that... There are children on social media. There are people who are looking up to you. There are people who are reading things you post and what you put mm -hmm. online. So it's wrong. Should a predator be justified then if he says that with what you're posting, then you are inviting or soliciting rape or defilement or, you know, um, just abuse in any form? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Counselor, what do you think as well? You see, in the first place, we ask ourselves that if today... Somebody has posted a state. I was it a Krapin Polo mm. who said medical has raped her or wants to rape her something. There was, there something. was an issue of rape. I yes. don't remember who exactly she was so, talking about. Okay, so it was alleged. Yes, yeah, mm. so that statement that came up, and later she came to say that no, it was a planned thing for that him to they be did. famous. Or and then trained. she's just walking like that. She was not arrested. As uh, we could have used her for a scapegoat. What should have happened to her? Uh, that she said medical has attempted to rape her. Mm -hmm. She has to prove it. So that's where medical could have been arrested because mm -hmm. it's a crime. 
and it was on social media. Mm. But it's as if to say that our cyber security section is not really active. They are active when it is governmentally connected. Somebody is planning a coup. They are smart to pick up on the person on social media. But when there is an act that infringes on the sexuality of people, which, you know, under the law, we have what we call marital confidence. Mm -hmm. The law binds you that when I marry you, we should be able to have a marital secrecy. So when I have sexual intercourse with you and marriage is no more even, the rights for you to disclose it, I have to be consent. All right. So you cannot even talk about what I did with you. If I have sex with you today, Bella, you can't go and tell anybody. Well, we have people here coming up on saying that he has sex with me. Oh, who are you? After all, your male organ is small. After all, you smell. These things, it is a crime that must be dealt with. Only but the in cyber... marriage. Only in marriage, you oh, mean? Oh, you... sex is Just... secret, okay. even everywhere. Okay. But we, we, we... the cyber security level here is slow. That is why somebody can come and I saw a post from one of the girls recently and said, Who is there that can use this? And she posted a nude. That can use what? Can use this. What? I mean, we are on early morning TV. Ah, okay. I'm not so used to this. So she posted her nude photo. Yes, and asked who can use her body, her private part oh, on social oh. media. Mm -hmm. Or beside, who can use this? What were the responses like? Ah, my sister. Wow. I'm here. Yeah. Inbox me. What's your number? I'll use it. And so use in this free. case, if someone sees you in a corner and takes yes. advantage of you. It's still a crime. It is still a crime. Because you were supposed to rape. So it's a crime. The but, word rape. But, but what happens to the lady who decided to also post that kind of <laughs> yeah. photo? So she's not at fault under the law. Okay. That you want to base on her picture to go and rape her. Mm -hmm. But under our nude and cyber security, nudity must not be posted unless it is rated. Rated law, by who? Is, you have to let the content be an explicit content plus 18. All right. So the law covers you when you write first before you open the video. I've put, I mean, parental oh. control. So, so, so. That law protects it, means that you, nobody stops you from not putting nude. So people are committing a crime by posting their nude photos themselves well, without rating it. Not yes, and nobody has been arrested. There's a law that says that if you post a nude photo of me, then you would be arrested and you can go to jail for it. But if it's rated, you can defend yourself in court. If it's my photo and you no, post so it, so you get. That's what I'm saying. That if we are in a relationship and we break up, and you say you want to punish me by posting my nude photos, yeah. I should be able to put you to to the law and punish you. Exactly. So that law is there. But how many of us have used it? But what? Mm. Do you understand? Even that, in what conversation. You post it yourself, right? Yeah. No, like, when you post, what if you post when it yourself? yourself? When I you mean, post and someone a nude comes picture, to take advantage of you. You, you are still breaking a law by posting your nude picture. So if there's a rape case and someone raped me as a result of me posting a nude and asking who when wants you to post use it, nude. When we go to the court, can that person also when, argue and say that, well, she. No. No, when you Bella, when you put your nude photo, it doesn't give anybody the right to rape you. I know that. Mm -hmm. So then we cannot be say, I saw the request and I answered the request. Because listen, during sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. the law has not even been limited small. But formally, if you read the article properly, it says even during the act, mm -hmm. if the woman says stop, stop so it's soon sawum. Stop. Stop. Hey, this is wickedness in high places. Oka, ni fire kokuni. But that is the law. The stop. You if have you, to stop. If you go, oh, stop. Oh, you know, let me make a cry. Rip. But even in this case, if, it sh if this should go on social media, everybody is going to go against the woman and say, but why did you allow him to go that far if you knew you didn't no, there was, have to do it? No, no, women, you don't know far. We, we, we know far. Our far is no. Ke far but me a ke stop. But that's, that's what I'm cap. saying. Uh, but you see, even that kind of conversation. So I'm saying that thing, they will blame you for even allowing the guy to come. We exactly keep what saying I'm that. Saying. Where did it happen? Did it happen in the guy's house? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like the practical example is the KKD story. Mm. Where was the girl standing? Where did the act happen? According to your alleged KKD rape, the girl moved from downstairs, followed KKD up there, and complained it happened in the toilet. Was the toilet at the downstairs? Mm -hmm. So what were they responsible? Why did you follow KKD to the toilet area? Why did you see him locking the toilet and didn't say anything? How can two people enter into a male toilet? 
I have some low hour. So you see, you think, ah, uh, you ask that, ah. Uh. So, did she contribute to it? But the law comes back to tell you that no matter what happens, rape is out of the game. Mm. You see the thing? That yeah. no matter what, if she leads you on, whatever, you are erected, and you are just about to penetrate and say, stop! They say, keep your erection. So this particular reason has made this social media act say, if you post nude, and even request as a rape person for somebody to rape you, you are still not at at at, at risk. Why then to are say we it? not using social media to educate people on it? Usually, what we see is just arguments about why he sh how he should be arrested because he raped someone. This morning, I saw a story where I think a mother said her eight year old daughter was raped by a twenty year old boy. Now she's been advised to drop the case because they say the boy is too young, and so she needs to let it go. And this went on social media. And you should see the kind of comments that came in. It clearly showed that people don't even understand what rape is. Because some of them were for the argument that then the boy should not be arrested. So they should let him go. Others said, well, yes, go ahead and, um, you know, still report the case. But you can tell that people don't really, are not as educated on social media. Why are we not taking advantage of it? That's what I'm saying, that we have, we have not trained people the use of social media. Whose job Which, is it? So NCCE, National Communication, what, what, what. And the NDD, whatever. They only come up, do election and do things. The I civic have. education. Yes, company. I mean. Yeah. So we are saying that this is some of the public notice. We have a public page that you can Google there to go and see your rights, if, even during this act. But look at Ghana. Every rape case, the mother will tell, and I saw my daughter walking and limping, and I asked her, what happened? And he says, Papa no te hano, see. So even the child doesn't know what is rape to go and say it's rape. Mm -hmm. What is molestation or what? I have a case now that all of you read on social media. I'm now managing the mother of the boy. And the stories that are coming out, I, if I start following up, there'll be a reverse to the story that came on all the reporters that you read. Mm. So there are times that the stories do that come. The boy has, is, is, is 19 and has, is alleged to rape a certain girl. Right. There was a medical report that finally the judge has given the boy seven years now in Sawam. But you are aware that the medical report that came, the mother of the boy didn't see the medical report because the son said he didn't do that to the girl. Just recently, the girl who was raped's mother has had a fight with the boy's mother and said, I don't to get to the hospital. I get to hospital. So how did the boy end up in jail then if Thank the you. medical report Thank indicates you. that he so I'm, Now I'm following the case now. And I'm asking those, the lawyers and everybody, is it right? So ask one senior lawyer, is it right for me, my son, to be jailed without knowing what is the, what content, is the content of the of the medical of the medical report? report? Yeah. Because the mother now had a quarrel with the woman I'm managing, and she's saying that they just had a fight, and the woman just told that it is just to punish the son. So the the literally meaning that the report is with me. There's nothing showing that your son has done it, but we put your son behind bars. And that story is, is when you go right now and Adum FM Porter is there, a 19 year old boy jailed seven years. I went to Sawam to go and do donation last two weeks. The boy is there, seven, seven year sentence. At how 19 long, years. How long has he been in there for? It's, it's this year, it's just about three months now. Wow. And he's going to be there for seven years. So watch it here. The, the thing about rape, and if you see the story, the insults, whatever happened under social media yeah. and the way the news protest took it and did everything now for me i'm managing the mother whose son has, has gone to jailed. jail and within the environment they live in glyphe it is now a stigma and it has now become a quarrel so i'm saying social media has its positive and negative but the negative is too high that we don't really get genuine investigation maybe that's why they don't want us to talk about it on social media We'll come back and talk more about it. We're, we're discussing social media and rape culture. And so if you have any contribution, you can send us a WhatsApp message or find us on social media at tv 3 Ghana. I'm here with Councilor Luchot and Bella. And we're still discussing social media and rape culture. And in the studios, I have Bella and I also have Councilor Luchot. We're talking about how social media contributes to the culture of rape in the country. Interestingly... I saw a post, um, you know, where a young lady has been sentenced, and that's because she tried to free herself from a trafficker. Now, he would rape her, and, um, well, it says that Randy Vola, who was a rich white man, dragged and raped and trafficked underage black girls. For years, he filmed the act. 
One of them had enough and killed him, and she is facing life in prison. And this is also on social media, and there, there's a divide as well as to what people think about it. She's still wrong for rape, uh, for killing him, even though he did all those things That's to her. That's the law. There's one act that supersedes. Are you aware in Ghana, there's a law that if a taxi should not take anybody to the hospital, are you aware? Like you are in a taxi. If you hit it's, anybody, it's against it's the law? Yes. You can't justify saying, no, be Alina, I'm the border. No, it's against the law. Okay. <laughs> so, in this, is this part of our world, eh? you wouldn't know where the law is until it grabs you. It's true somebody's raping you. Mm -hmm. But you killing the person, what's the proof of rape? But there's proof. There's going to be a medical report that would indicate in case that there's... You see, the medical report has never proven rape. No. It has they... always proven penetration. When you uh -huh. come, the test we do in the hospital is to see whether we we'll look for semen. Yeah. Whether I ejaculated in you, uh -huh. whether the hymen just got torn, whether there are lacerations or what you call bruises in your local language, uh -huh. all right? So these are the things we are looking for in the woman's private part. So if I do it, regular sexual intercourse, all these things still can come. So my word against your word when you call it a rape, I get what I'm saying. Okay. But this social media thing, I'm saying it's not helping us because even you who think you are a victim, Write it and see what happens to you. That's what I was going to ask Bella, that God forbid, but if mm -hmm. you ever got raped, would you be comfortable putting on social media? Yes, I will. Hey. Yes, because... Are you just saying this because you're on no, TV? No, no, because no. Because we all understand. Yes, it's, it's, it's like, it's a very difficult situation and, you know, you're emotionally traumatized and all that. But um, I keep saying that what you put on social media can have positive effects on other people. It's, you can use that, you can use your ordeal to educate others on rape, on like the causes, how to prevent it, when it happens to you, how like how you go through life, how you've been facing, like um, I don't even know how to. So say. how you've been trying to overcome Come it? Yes. Okay. So I can put it on social. But media. you are aware that people are going to start asking you questions. What were you wearing? Why were you there at this time? Was it a dark alley? Why were you there alone? Mm -hmm. And when he tried, why didn't you run away? They're yes, going to but, ask you I don't unbelievable that, questions. I don't think that all rape um, happens because a girl was wearing something seductive or... But that's what people think. And if you look at comments on social mm -hmm. media, that's what people think. Yeah, so it depends on how you tell your story. But how will you deal with the stigma? Because then you're forever going to be known as the girl who, who was, was raped. raped. Because right now, Sarah Kobner's name, when you type, there's nothing than the case between Sarah Kobner and, 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 and uh, Samuel John. Mm. Even anyhow they go to court and finish the case. You don't get people typing back to say, mm -hmm. finally, finally the case has come. So, yeah. you see, when you are telling me that I'll go and post, I'm, I'm, I was confused and I said, hey, because what are you going to write? My ordeal, what are so I going to So, I just want people to learn how. You've been raped. And yes. you get up in the morning, mm -hmm. you go on your handle. Guess because what happened she's to trying me? to seek justice. Get Maybe. what happened to justice. And remember that you, you, you cannot prove anybody guilty until the law proves them guilty. So what are you going to write on social media? Me, in my way of me posting it, is, is, though you have to, um, you need justice, but also you need to educate people. You need to talk to them. So what's the how? I just want to learn. So like, well, okay. That's what she said. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I've been You raped. have been raped. So yes. take your handle. What do God you do forbid, write? though. Oh, yes, God will not forbid. You have no, been raped. No, God forbid. Sellers. I've been raped. Yeah, okay. But um, I just, I come on social media and I, I, I will start from um, whatever happened. Like, you how narrate? it's, I'll narrate everything. Would you be able to yes, do I that? Yes, I will. You do I that on social media? Yes. You want people to know what yes, you went through? Yes, I want people to know what I went through. And it, I want people to know that um, you, the stigmatization shouldn't affect you. You can still move on with your life. You know, social media, it depends on how you reach people it depends on you okay. and how you reach people i want to reach people and impact in them positively so people have hiv aids and they talk about it people have um, some kind of diseases and they talk about it if you don't talk about it how will others learn how will others know I that and this is how you overcome Girl. how will others like Bella, people growing up will know that to maybe probably how will i you made put a mistake so you will know that, okay, she did this, and this is what happened to her. What if it wasn't Let a mistake? Not... What if a, a, a baby got raped? That's no mistake. Oh, this, well, that's, defiled, that's, that should yes, be the right term to use. So that's defilement. Yeah. So we, are looking, we, should, we should be very careful when we are using defilement yeah. as yeah. rape. People can be defiled, but not raped. But not raped, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, my problem with you is that you have been raped. So you go on social media and say, 
Guess what just happened to me? I went in here and met this man, and after 10 minutes, he has just raped me. How, how would I want no, to see that? I wouldn't say how. guess what happened to me. I'll say, so tell I'll me. just give it an example that That's what you I'm post on social media and say, So I went to this man's room and I got raped. Yes, that's okay, so honestly, how many people do you think would even side with you? Thank you. Because that's what Bella is you. asking you. Wouldn't they bash you? Yeah, and how will you deal with that? What? That's what I was asking. Wouldn't Bella asked you a simple question. Mm -hmm. You were saying, I'll call it there. Because, mm -hmm. and I went into the hotel with this pastor. Yeah. Guess what happened? I went into a hotel room with this pastor for prayer. And in 15 minutes, you see, I realized that see, he you, was touching see, my I breast. Why would I, why would I narrate something just, just like roughly like that? So I'll start with um, an advice. Like, oh, okay, rape is so, so, and so, so, and so, so, and so. At that time, when you are dealing it. with a trauma, yes. you're going to start no, with you No, I wouldn't post immediately after the trauma. Maybe after everything is done. I've what if people find out that, that rumors that you got raped, and maybe you have to come out and make a statement? You're always on TV, Friday, you so it. now. Exactly. You, so you, how you can better say, deal with how are you dealing stigma? with your rape issue? Will you talk? Yes, I will. It won't be that simple, you know. It wouldn't be that easy, but it's... it's, it's and that's why a lot of people are shying away from speaking publicly, mm -hmm. you know, when they've been raped. Because, first of all, society doesn't even understand what you were doing there at that time. Thank you. And that is why I said I will educate them first. So educate now before you are raped. That's the okay. best thing. Like what we are doing now. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So we should be able to educate people before how they are raped. How do we do that? That would be okay, my that, final okay. question So the you. first thing is that we don't even know how to report rape cases in this country. We are confusing defilement and sexual, uh, what do you call it, uh, sexual molestation with rape. People learn that rape is when you say no to sexual intercourse and somebody forcibly penetrates you. When somebody forcibly kiss you, it's not rape, it's mm -hmm. sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. But rape is where really the person has entered. Or there's another part of the law that says the attempted rape. Yeah. And that attempted rape, there's a case that I dealt with some weeks ago. I have a case in my office. The girl right now is being traumatized because she has lied. Mm. She tore her own dress. When he wants to blackmail the man, when he went to tell her friend, so she tore her dress and her panty and went to court and really told everybody that this is the evidence. The man, and the man kept saying, oh, 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 oh. So the, the reporting is one. Number two, the authorities... Should also be careful when they are they justify finally and realize that the law has taken its cause that Bella was fully raped and everything is clear. The corporate, what does the law say? Should we name and shame? This is why people cannot report because if I've not seen the clerk out of there, even taking the case at the University of Ghana, they told you their code of ethics and there's a divinary committee what they are supposed to do, but they are not going to seek for clearance from the Supreme Court. To know if they can name and shame. Yeah. The same thing like the church. So as a rape victim, how what, what is the security? What mm -hmm. is the protection that I have? Mm -hmm. That is why I'll be bold enough to tell people that I have been raped. And I know the next minute I will get that covering. I know the next minute somebody else will marry me and they will say, yeah, rapey, nah, yeah. Yeah. You know, so we need to build structures that will give people confidence in the system. Okay. Not just the raw thing in Ghana. Uh, how do we sanitize social media as well then? Well, the cyber security company in Ghana. It's their job? That's their work. Okay. Bella. All right. All right. Anyway. Bella, that's their work. No problem. Um, I've been speaking to Councillor Lutra. He has an event that's coming up, which is the, the Sexia, Sexia Together, Together Autism Conference. Hashtag. The conference of life on the 25th of 25th december. december next wednesday coming we're all meeting at the trade fair okay the unique event palace from 5 p.m alongside the music poetry recital we're celebrating the birth the of thing. christ on christmas day You're yes about august, august yes day. we are celebrating the birth, birth of christ on 25th so after you go to church or whatever you do come yeah, let's come end the day august and we're, we're talking about three issues there we're discussing what sex, sex money, money and family, and family. how okay. do they impact on relationship before 2020, understand your orientation. As a man, you are a son, a husband, and a father. How do you manage it? As a woman, you are a daughter, a mother, okay. and a wife. So please, uh, you get some tickets here by next Dates, week. Date, venue, and Dates. The venue is Unique call, Event please. Palace Trade Fair Center. The time is 5 p.m. sharp. We do interaction, business, and we have 
dancing, band singing for us. And 0277 is the number, the lifeline number that you can even report your issues to me on Udo Secrecy and Privacy. 0277 609 644. I take it again, write it slowly. You have been raped or attempted rape. 0277 609 644. It is exactly together. Call me. Tickets are 70 Ghana cities for double, 40 Ghana cities for single, and 100 Ghana cities for VIP. All with right. a lot of benefits in the place. Thank you so much, Councillor Lucius, and thank, thank you, you Bella, Bella, for joining me thank as well. You.